morning, good afternoon, wherever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And we're taking a deep dive into the Rider Waite tarot cards this month. And I'm kind of connecting them with different modalities and different things that you might not have known about the cards. Maybe a little bit of history. We'll see what happens. But it's all kind of like just to see, just to poke around a little deeper at these cards. Because usually I'm using cards that kind of have weird symbolism just because they're kind of artsy or a little different. These are very traditional. This is my Rider Waite deck. It is my grandmother's deck. I've been using it for a really long time. I'm also super protective of this one. I let people kind of touch all of my other decks, but this is the one that I'm like, please don't touch it. Please don't get your sticky fingers on it. This one's mine. Anyway, which I think is interesting because this is the card that I'm talking about today. It's kind of more about sharing all of the abundance that we have. So this is the Six of Pentacles, Six of Coins, however you want to look at it. The pentacles in a standard deck of playing cards would rep represent the diamonds. So this is material wealth. These are the things that we have tangibly. So it doesn't necessarily have to be money. It can also be food. It can be just any kind of wealth or abundance that you have. Skill sets are a little bit more in like the wands category, but if those skills can earn you things or earn things for other people, that definitely still fits into here. So they're very much kind of a work card, a business card, a, things that are in our physical world, which means they represented by Taurus because Taurus is a very wealth oriented and abundance and comforts kind of oriented astrological sign. But the things I want to talk about with this one are the color in the background, which is a little hard to tell in this one, a little unclear, but I can promise you it's kind of a light lilac color, almost a purple color. And a lot of us might be going, oh, purple isn't a sky color. Well, it kind of can be. I mean, sunsets, sunrises, things like that are purple. And also purple in this case is representative of royalty and that resurrection kind of thing as well, but more the connection, the deep connection to the divine and the deep connection to how we kind of channel abundance into our lives. So if you have purple and you're wearing that or, or you are projecting purple out into the world kind of thing, that's abundance. We know that like the Roman robes and things like that were purple. If purple is a very expensive dye to have, all of those kinds of things. Purple is money, which this guy definitely has. So we see him sharing his money, his wealth with two people who clearly do not have as much as he does. And we can see that based on like there's patches on their clothing. They're kind of like huddled down. Just their posture alone is sort of saying, hey, I, I need something. I still have needs to be met and you have everything you need. The other thing I want to point out with how he's metering this out is he has the scales. He's trying to make sure everything's equal, which having six coins, six is again kind of that abundance number. It's it's an, a number in the sense of like, okay, I have all that I need and now it's time for me to start sharing. Whereas like an eight is more like there's infinite flow of abundance back and forth and through and all of those kinds of things. This is like, I recognize I have a lot. I'm going to share some of that. The other thing that I'm going to go into a total different modality. I don't think I've talked about this one at all. I actually don't know a whole lot about it, but I thought it was really fun because the I Ching, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a sort of, it's more of a, a Chinese or Eastern modality of fortune telling of it's these hexagrams essentially, and they're all lines. And the way the lines are broken is depicted in like meaning different things or having different symbols. And the two that are connected to this one are Yi and Feng. And Yi and Feng are both about like abundance. One in particular is about being a king, being royalty, and knowing that if you are giving to your people and your kingdom is abundant and you are not hoarding that money, you can be like the sun at noon. And I just love that imagery of someone who is so true to themselves and true to their people and their community 
and so giving that there is nothing that they have to hide. They have really no shadow. They are like the sun at noon. They are high up, they are abundant, they are good, they are upright in their choices, all of these things. So I leave you with Yi and Fang as abundant energy and to share those with others and to kind of share that energy throughout the day as well. And I don't usually do it in that way, but yeah, let's let's go with, let's have that energy of this card go out into the world as well. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay super abundant and share. All right, love you, bye.